I'll just put one out, mate. Yeah, right. Here, come on, let's go and have a cup of tea. Hey, Stan. Look, they've opened the nursery for the Clippy's kids. Ah, it's a daft idea, that is, having babies in the depot. No, it's not. That's so that the young married Clippers can come back to work. Well, our Clippers, oh, you must be joking. Lazy lot. Most of them got in the pudding club so they wouldn't have to work. <laughs> <laughs> which way to the nursery? Oh, it's through that door, love, and along the corridor. Corridor? Oh, dear, I'm going to be late on duty. Oh, don't worry, Duck, we'll give you a hand. Come on, Oh, oh he's heavy, isn't he? <laughs> hey, he's gorgeous, isn't he? Funny little is he yours? Yeah, yeah lovely. Hello, darling. <laughs> Beauty, isn't it? Yeah. Look, this is it. Oh. I, hope, I hope the nurse is nice. Nurse? Oh, blimey, some of them nurses are hot stuff, mate. I used to go out with one once. Oh, they know everything. Do they? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> well, if this one knows everything, she's been keeping it a secret. <laughs> hey, uh, we brought this, this baby in, nurse. Oh, not another one. Yeah. Well, all right, you better bring him in. Yeah, all right. Put him on here with the others. Yeah, he's a gorgeous one. <laughs> Hello. I'm a stash. I'm due out. I've put his feeding chart in the cot. Bye, darling. <laughs> Morning, sister. <laughs> what you two layabouts doing in here? They help me bring baby up, Inspector, cos I'm going on duty. Oh, well, you better hurry along then, lovey. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> it's working then, I see, sister, eh? More and more of the clippers are bringing their babies up here. It's all my idea, you know, yeah. what it is. I see you brought your two with you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they take after their father, don't they? No, nah, not quite. Blakey hasn't got a tail. <laughs> <laughs> He's got one, but he keeps it tucked in. <laughs> you two shut up and get out of the way. I've been getting some stuff for the sister here. Did you, bring the, did you bring the baby oil? Yes, I didn't forget it, sister. Here you are. I told you to bring a big bottle. That's useless. Oh, well, I'd better check this uh, late arrival in. Now, let's see. Arrived at depot, 12.25. I mean, it's a baby, not a bus. They all have to be checked. There's no difference. Yes, well, you see, he's very thorough, you see, Jack, yes. We should stick to regulations, mate. I'll just check to see if that one up the end wants some air and water. <laughs> <coughs> I think he's got a bit too much air pressure. <laughs> This one here's got a radiator leak. <laughs> <laughs> Will you two shut up? <laughs> you stupid man, you've woken the baby. Oh, it's not my fault, sister. <laughs> Perhaps it needs feeding or something. Inspector, you look after your buses and I'll look after the babies. I'll feed it when I've got time. I can't manage everything. And where's that helper? I told you that I wanted a helper. Now, where is uh, she? Yes, well, it's a little difficulty, you see, about that, sister, because, uh, we can't get the right type of girl, you see. Uh, they don't want to do the job, actually. <laughs> anyway, I'll put a notice up about it. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, mate. <laughs> here, here, Jack. You know what I've been thinking? That job would suit Olive. Well, your sister? Oh, she knows nothing about babies. I mean, she can't do anything properly. No, you're right. No, cos if she did, she'd had kill herself, wouldn't she? Yeah, mind you. <laughs> Perhaps she could learn. Don't be daft, you've been married nine years. Now, you Bert, learn to look after babies. Tell you what, your mother could tell her what to do. Nah, it's, okay. it's ten quid a week part-time. Yeah, why not? Oh, no, Stan. I don't think I could manage it. What do you think, Arthur? Ridiculous. I've always maintained you're quite incapable of looking after the children. Well, please yourself. Good, I thought you'd be grateful. I mean, let's face it. She's getting ten quid a week. Eh? Hey? <laughs> oh. Oh, well, on second thoughts, you may as well give it a try. I mean, after all, modern babies are very tough, aren't they? <laughs> of course they are. They're as tough as nails, aren't they, Mum? Yes. Do you remember when you let me hold Olive when she was a baby? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I dropped her on her head. <laughs> oh, no, it was awful. It's a wonder she's grown up into such a lovely, healthy girl. <laughs> I mean, it might have affected her in all sorts of ways. How right you are. <laughs> what would I have to do, Stan? Well, nothing much. You sort of look after the babies in general and sort of uh, change their nappies. Change their nappies? Oh, I couldn't do that. Oh, that's a trouble with you modern girls. None of you want to have anything to do with babies. You're too busy sitting around the house looking sexy and glamorous. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not my fault. How can I 
know about babies when I've never had one. Well, that's what I mean. In the old days, they believed in big families. Here, Arthur, do you know what? Her granny had 16 children. Really? Yes. They tried to have one at least once a year. Didn't they? Yes. That's about what Arthur does. <laughs> Will you shut up? I've never handled a baby before. I wouldn't know what to do. Well, never mind, love. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a few lessons after supper. Here, loves, look what I've found. Oh, it's my old dolly. Yes, I found it in the cupboard. Here, I thought it'd do for Olive to practice putting a nappy on a baby. What a smashing idea. I used to love my dolly. Ah, yes. Do you remember, Stan? She used to sleep with that doll every night till she met it, Arthur. I bet she found more light than the doll. <laughs> <laughs> I am getting a little tired of your offensive remarks. Oh, no, no. He was only joking. <laughs> if I press the dolly in the right place, I can get the squeaker to work. <laughs> I told you it had more light than you. <laughs> now, look, mate. Oh, so yeah. now, now. Here, Olive, I tell you what, pretend this is a nappy and practice in putting it on the baby. Oh, all right. Now, look, what you do, love, here, you get this, a three-corner piece like that, see, there, now lay the baby on it. Sit. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? You're supposed to be putting it on his bum, not his head. <laughs> Give us a chance. Oh. doing? You're supposed to be putting a nappy on it, not teaching it judo. <laughs> well, it's not easy, cos the ends don't meet. Oh. That's it, isn't it? You can't do that to a kid. Give it in here. I mean, even a baby can't get in that position. <laughs> Why not? Arthur can. <laughs> You're married like than I thought, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it just so happens that I was practicing my yoga. Oh, that rubbish. <laughs> oh, there, that's it, isn't it? No, love, no, that's not it. Look, you've forgotten to put the oil on. Hey? Look, before you put a nappy on, you've got to rub baby oil in all the little creases. What creases? <laughs> when all babies have creases, love, then you grow up and fill out and the creases go away. Olives didn't. <laughs> now, well, she filled out and got another lot, see? I have not. Anyway, I'm not taking the nappy off now to put the baby oil on. Well, you don't have to with that one, do you? Eh? Hey? Well, you just pour it through the hole in the middle of his back here. <laughs> then instead of the oil being on the outside working its way in, it'll be on the inside working its way out, eh? Oh, <laughs> Do you know what I've been thinking? Well, it's a pity we're not all made like that. Oh, how revolting. No, it's not. No, if we all had a hole in the middle of our back, anything that went wrong with us, all we'd have to do is to take off that in inspection plate and have a shifty inside to see what's wrong. Oh. What a ghastly thought. It's not a ghastly thought, mate. If you had a hole in the middle of your back, you wouldn't have needed your operation. <laughs> I don't see what my operation has to do with this. So the doctor could have peered inside and see if he was functioning properly. I was functioning perfectly all right. No, you weren't. I remember the first year we were married. Will you shut up about <laughs> I had the pair of you. I'm trying to teach Ollie how to look after babies. Look, she's got a fair idea how to put a nappy on. That's all she'll need to know. Well, no, it isn't, love. She's got to learn how to bring the wind up after it's had a feed. How do I do that? God, oh. well, everybody knows that. Look, Olive, all you have to do, you take hold of the baby, put it over your shoulder like that, and just tap it gently on his back. There, you see? Ah, oh, my little Olive. Used to be something awful with the wind. A little stomach could all fill up and she'd go all red in the face. She hadn't changed much. <laughs> <laughs> but such a pig. Now, look, 
take the baby, put it over your shoulder and pat it gently. And don't take no notice of him. Oh, well, he shouldn't be so rude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, never mind, love. That won't happen with a real baby. With her in charge, I'm not so sure. <laughs> Blackie. I see you've bashed that bollard in the high street again. More complaints from the council, eh? <laughs> look at that, look. You must have bashed that blooming bollard right over this time. Yeah, well, not to worry. Come over here. See that? <laughs> I bashed it straight on the way back. <laughs> <laughs> Typical, isn't it, eh? No regard for the buses at all, have you? Well, if you put it in maintenance, that's who fix it, you know. Duh. By the way, Blakey, how's my sister getting on in the nursery? Well, I only hope to God she's looking after them babies a bit better than your other buses, mate. Well, there you are again. If she happens to drop one, nip it into maintenance, have the bumps knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> Here, come on, let's go and see how she's getting on, Jack. Yeah, right Here, if you're going up there, you can take that cot up there for me. Well, you're going to Betty Bye Bye's, are you? Twit. I'm collecting all that stuff up for the nursery, ain't I? In the last two weeks, I've had to go up that baby shop up the road and get six cots. God, they must think you're a hell of a goer. <laughs> get that cot up there, oh, all right, right, go all right. Go on, Jack. Come on, Jack. Yeah, yeah, all right. right. Honest. What do you two want? Uh, the inspector told us to bring this cot in here. Well, I can't put it up. You'd better do it. Well, we can't do it. We're going to have our lunch. Put it in that corner and don't argue. Yeah, OK. Oh, yeah. oh Olive. How are you getting on, love? Oh, all right. I changed all their nappies like I did on my dolly, yes. and I've made them bring up wind. Have you? Well, I bet I seem they've still got their heads on. <laughs> <laughs> They're all right, love. Don't worry. You're so still here. Well, those men are putting the cot up for me. I can't do it. It's not my job. Oh, very well, then. Well, hurry up about it, will you? Yeah, well, yeah, man. How's it going? Oh, look at that. Bless him, look. Oh, ain't he lovely? <laughs> He's a lovely little fella, isn't he, eh? Hey. <laughs> What's up with him, then? You were making faces at him. I was only smiling at him. What are you talking about? Leave that baby alone. Yeah. Yeah, I'll play with my pencil, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Take your hand away. Yeah. I'm responsible for that child's health. Anything he touches should be sterilised. Ah, he's all right there. He qualifies for that. <laughs> all right, sister, I won't touch him then. Very well. And don't lean too close over the cot. I don't want you breathing germs all over him. Oh, for goodness sake, sister, I'm not doing any harm. Ridiculous, I wasn't breathing over him at all. I was just leaning over him like that. Yeah, but let's face it, Blake, there's a lot of funny things fall out of your moustache. <laughs> Will you two shut up and get out? It's a quarter to one. Come on. Quarter to one? Yeah. Oh, that's my lunch hour. Well, you're not going to lunch and leaving the babies, are you, sister? Certainly I am. I have to eat, you know. I've shown my assistant what to do. Olive, uh, the feeds are all ready, and I'll be back at two o'clock. And uh, also, dear, I think number six wants changing. Would you see to that at once? Yes. Will you men get out of here as soon as you've finished? Yeah, well, right. Yeah. Well, I think I'd better go and check the passes then. Ah. How much longer are you two going to be? Ah, uh, we nearly finished yeah. it now, Blake. Well, hurry up and get on with it, then. Go on, then. That's it, lovely. Firm as a rock. Come on, let's get our lunch. Tara Olive, see you later, love. Oh, you little devil! What's about? He took my glasses. I think he put them on the floor. <laughs> oh, yeah, hello. Get on there. Where? Just in front of you, dear. <laughs> you stupid great knit you. You've been a trot on them, look. Well, I couldn't see them without my glasses. Can I wear them? Well, you can wear them, but I don't know what they're going to do for you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see a thing. Well, what are you going to do? Well, I'll have to manage. I'll just try and do this little Mart Snappy first. Where are you going? Where are you going? Not that one, not that one. You, that's, that's where you were, on that one, there. There. Oh, you are wet, you naughty little girl. <laughs> girl? <laughs> Can't you see anything? That's a boy. 
Is it? Oh, it's just a blur to me. That's the first time I've ever heard it called that. <laughs> and it Mola says, you're blind as a bat without her glasses. Yeah, I only take them off when I go to bed at night. You want to keep them on, love, my dear, you're a bit of good. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, yeah. Hey, Jack, hang on, hang on. We can't leave her here in charge without her glasses. Ah, well, we'll tell Blake it's his pigeon, isn't it? Oh, oh no. no, don't do that. Please, Stan, please. Don't tell Blake you're going to suck. Please, Stan. I'm Jack. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's right, though. No, if you tell Blake you're not his, you'll only give her the push one. You're not his. Yes, and I'm quite capable of looking after babies. Yeah, providing you can find them. <laughs> yeah, haven't you got a spare pair? Yeah, I've got a pair at home. I could dash home and get them. Just look after the babies for me, please. Eh? Oh, Stan, please. Arthur will kill me if I lose this job. Of course he won't. I don't know, you're getting ten quid, aren't you? Maybe you're right. All right, go on, nipple phone. Well, hang on. Hey, hang about What about my lunch? I'm hungry. I'll be as quick as I can. Come on, then. Oh, oh what, what about the baby's nappy? Well, give us it. I'd better do it then for you. Hurry up and don't be long. Oh, blimey, how much longer is Olive going to be? She'll be gone 20 minutes. Well, give her a chance. Should be another ten minutes at least. Well, it will be due out. Anyway, I'm famished. I want me lunch. I'm going up the canteen. No, Jack, no, Jack. Don't leave him with this lot. Well, oh, blimey, I'm starving. Well, I'm starving and all, but... Uh, hey, there's plenty of grub here, look. What, baby food? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, here? Yeah. It's smashing stuff. It's great. Besides, uh, it's free, isn't it? <laughs> well, the management are paying for this, aren't they? You've got a point there, mate. Let's have a look. Minced homogenised beef, mixed vegetable, gravy added, vitamins. Well, it doesn't sound bad. Yeah, what's it like? Yeah, that is handsome, mate. That is, is handsome. It? I'll yeah. try this one. Mm. So is this, mate. What you got? This is uh, liver, chicken, a spinach and bone broth. Mm. <laughs> oh, this is great hey, stuff. Here, you've got another spoon there, have you? Mm. No, you can have the pusher. Oh, do turn it up a little. <laughs> oh, blimey. It. This is very good stuff, you know, this. Yeah, it's much too good for babies. Mmm. This is good, isn't it? You want to go mm. get all that one, though? Why's that? See what it says here? Mm. It's full of vitamins, this is. It's make your teeth grow. Well? <laughs> you must have had a hell of a lot when you was a kid. <laughs> oh, shut up. Anyway, what's wrong with my teeth? Nothing. It's just that every time you smile, it reminds me of that piano down the pub. <laughs> Mm, good stuff, hey, it? Very good. Very good indeed, I must say. Handsome. No, I mean, don't be a pig. Save. All right, all right. It's plenty there, isn't Save it? Save some for me. Uh, what's this one? Let's go at this one. It's all right. It's nice. It's a sweet, this one. Hmm? Sweet. Beautiful afters. Lovely afters. What is it? I don't know. Uh, stewed rhubarb, <laughs> uh, essence of figs, and prune juice. <laughs> You'll be breaking all records bringing the bus back to the depot today. <laughs> Got a point there, mate. All right, makes you a bit thirsty, though, isn't it? Mm. Have we got anything to drink here? Yeah? Hey, oh, that's ready. Have some of that. <laughs> you can't drink out of a baby's bottle. Yeah, hey, I'll shove it in a cup then. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> hey, how about that then, Jack? Look at that. It's just like milking a cow, isn't it? It's better. You can see how much you've got left. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? They ought to breed cows with plastic watsits, didn't they? <laughs> You're going to be all day filling that cup up, mate. Don't be saying it again. There's nothing in there, hardly. Uh, how are you going to get it out, then? Hey, I'll do. Tell you what I'll do. I'll do it like the Spaniards do when they're drinking their wine. Yeah? Yeah, squirt it straight into your mouth. Well, see, I'm doing it in Majorca last year. Go on. Watch it. Straight off. Right, here we go. Uh. Uh. Oh, very good. Oh. Brava. Olay, olay. <laughs> it goes right down your gullet that way. Yeah. Let's have a go. Arms length. You've got to be careful with this one, cos if you miss, it goes down your neck, runs down here, down your leg. I suppose that's why all them Spanish dancers go about wriggling and stamping their feet, no. though. <laughs> here we go. Arms length, mate. Mm. Oh, <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. Ah, okay. Oh, very, very good. Yeah, I like that. But when you get expert at it, do you know what you do? No. They squirt it on their forehead, then it runs down their nose into their mouth. Oh, blimey, I better not try that. With my nose, by the time it gets down to my mouth, the milk will turn sour. 
<laughs> yeah, shove it there. Let's have a go at you there. Right. Here we go. Mm. <laughs> Baby's bottle. Um, what, what do you spray his face with milk for? Well, he's having trouble with his complexion. <laughs> no, well, I always knew he was raving mad, but no, I mean, this is... well, Blake, you see, I was, uh, I was just drinking a drop. Well, from a baby's bottle. Here. What's all these empty jars here? Uh, You've been licking the baby's grub, haven't you? No, wait a minute, no. <laughs> Four new peas each, them dolls, you yeah. know that. Yeah. You've you, been pinching them, haven't you? I no, caught you. No, no. I caught a pair of. I'm having you, too, no, I'll no, tell no, you that. No, wait a minute, Blakey, don't be stupid. Is it? Is it? Is it? <laughs> no, 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 honest, 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 Blakey. There's a simple explanation why we was eating yeah, this. I suppose the little toothy pegs are coming through, are they? <laughs> <laughs> I'm making out a complete report about this, mate. I'll have you. Here. Where's that half daft sister of yours who's supposed to be left in charge here? She nipped off home. What, and left all the babies? Look, she trod on her glass and smashed them. She's as blind as a bat without them, right? She's just gone back to get another pair. She now, won't be long. You ought to be very grateful to us for looking after these nippers. Looking after them? You've been pinching all their grub. <laughs> and I'll make sure you pay for it and all, mate. Don't worry about that. So what? They're not complaining. Not one of them said a word. <laughs> Twit. You shouldn't have been left in charge of them. You, you can't be responsible for them babies. Well, I don't know. I've had me moments. <laughs> Will you two shut up and get out of here right away and get in that bus? Come on. Oh, it's all right. We can go now. Here she is. I went back God. as quick as I could. Yeah. Did you find your glasses? Well, when I got home, I couldn't find them. So I sat down on the sofa to think, and they were underneath the cushion. <laughs> oh, I'll dash off to the opticians and see if I can get another pair. Aye, aye. What about the babies here? Yeah, well, the nurse will be back in half an hour. <laughs> oh, oh, good. Oh, what's the matter with that one now? Oh, look. It's wet, isn't it? Needs changing. Yeah, well, Stan, you heard the inspector. We've yeah. got to get that bus out. Yeah. Oh, no, no, hang about here. Don't leave me like this. Look, come on, chaps. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Blake. I mean, we've, we've got, got to get the bus out, haven't we? That's what you I said. I mean, the buses have got to run yeah, away. Right, right, right. right. Nothing to do with us. Nothing to do with us whatsoever. Right. You told us to get the bus out there. You see, what's happened now? That one's started a lot. Yeah, I'm afraid they all need changing. Yeah. Hey, old Blake, tell you what, take the nurse's rubber apron and you can get on with it. Right. I can't change a baby's nappy. I've never changed one in my life before. Oh, my God. Oh, it's just my luck. <laughs> well, you see, it's because you're an inspector, isn't it? I mean, the babies are just like the buses. As soon as you walked in, they all started running early. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate you, butler. I hate you. I hate a pair of you. <laughs> <laughs>